couldn't care less. Yeah, this government has suspended democracy. Modi and Shah have suspended democracy. What are you talking about, MPs? क्या कांग्रेस को लगता है कि गांधी परिवार के लिए अलग से कानून बनना चाहिए? क्या कांग्रेस को ये लगता है कि गांधी परिवार से जांच करने भी गुनाह है? All right, as we already told you, our first story takes us to the monsoon session of the parliament where divided lines between the parties seem to be hardening. Yesterday, the Rajya Sabha suspended 19 MPs from the opposition. Remember, this is already apart from the four Congress MPs that are suspended in the lower house. Now, those 19 Rajya Sabha MPs who've been suspended yesterday, they're going to be continuing their protest today. We know that yesterday too, they were pressing for an urgent discussion on price rise and the hike in GST rates. They were asking for this to take place inside the Rajya Sabha. Today, these MPs plan to continue their protests outside the house at the Gandhi statue in the parliament. The MPs were suspended after the Rajya Sabha said that there was chaos while they were asking for that discussion. But remember, no discussion on those issues actually took place. Placards were waved instead. The opposition continues to accuse the government of trying to run away from discussing any of these issues. The government has blamed the opposition in its turn for disrupting the functioning of the parliament to meet their political agenda. So this is what each of the sides have to say. Take a look now at some political reactions. At least 19 MPs have been sub suspended today. How do you say this? What, do you, what is your message to the government, sir? It is a threat to democracy. What is mean by parliament? Parliament, it is, parliament is a place to debate, discuss, and take the decision. This is the uh, usual uh, uh, activity of the parliament in a democracy. But now this government, they never ready to allow any debates or any discussion. They want only dictatorship. We are not going to appeal. We are not, we are not going to appeal or we are not going to ask any sorry. Because they have done a mistake. We have not done a mistake. What we are asking, we are asking the debate for the price hike. It is the expression of the public. So everyone can't come to the uh, parliament. So we are here to express the public thoughts. So that they are protecting. So we are not going to uh, appeal uh, till they allow the uh, discussion on uh, uh, price hike and other thing. Uh, we will keep on uh, agitating. Ma'am, uh, 19 MPs have been suspended today under Rule 256. What the chair said was that your behaviour was unruly. Your reaction, ma'am? It's simple. Price rise is a massive issue impacting the people of India. The way GST has been imposed on basic essential commodities, people uh, have an outcry. We demanded to debate that and suspend all other business. But the chair did not allow it. We moved various uh, members of parliament from all opposition parties have consistently moved notices to debate these two issues. We have not been allowed. We, sh we had to protest because that's the mood of the nation. So what happens from here on, Monday? Because you continue to sit in the house even after you will name. Yes. You know, from tomorrow onwards, will this protest continue? We will now sit in our party office with other opposition parties and decide. But the nation and the people of the country should know that we were not allowed despite consistent and demands to debate on price rise and GST on essential commodities and that is throttling our democratic right. Suspension is, has happened because this government has no answers. They do not know how to reply to inflation and price rise. That's the whole point. On any issue, including price rise, and we have agreed for the demand that it should be done at the earliest. Despite that, we are repeatedly disturbing the proceedings of the House. We are hopeful that as soon as the Finance Minister comes, the discussion on price rise will take place. The acts of the various opposition parties who have not reduced even the VAT on petrol and diesel will get exposed before the House. Their demand for GST which is completely baseless. We once again repeat and request that the House be allowed to function smoothly and the government will be ready to discuss any issue, including price rise.
And our next focus keeps us here in Delhi. The Enforcement Directorate yesterday questioned Congress President Sonia Gandhi for over six hours on the second day of her appearance in connection with a money laundering case linked to the National Herald newspaper. The agency has summoned the 75-year-old Congress chief today as well. So Sonia Gandhi is going to be appearing for a third round today. ED has so far asked 55 questions from Gandhi. They mostly focus on the money trail and the role of other senior Congress leaders in each of these transactions. It's expected that the line of questioning today will remain the same. Remember, yesterday, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, her son, was detained during protests. A number of other Congress leaders were also detained. Today also we're going to be seeing Congress leaders and workers hitting the streets to protest against the ED heat on Gandhi. Very quickly, take a look at some senior Congress reactions. Then we're going to take a deeper dive into the story. Look, this is a very sorry and very strange thing. That this is a 10 years old case that was closed. उसको केवल राजनीतिक द्वेष की भावना से उसका दुरुपयोग किया जा रहा है। 2016 में ईडी ने खुद इस केस को समाप्त कर दिया था और बावजूद उसके अब खुद इसको बार-बार उठा करके इसको केवल कांग्रेस के नेताओं के ऊपर कांग्रेस पार्टी पे दबाव बनाने के लिए किया जा रहा है और ये इसलिए किया जा रहा है ताकि देश के � विपक्ष के ऊपर दबाव डाला जा सके कि विपक्ष ये मुद्दों को ना ना उठाए हम ये कहना चाहते हैं कि विपक्ष किसी भी तरीके से डरने वाला नहीं है महंगाई का मुद्दा जीएसटी का मुद्दा बेरोजगारी का मुद्दा अग्निपथ का मुद्दा ये सारे मुद्दे हम लगातार उठाते रहेंगे और जोर से उठाते रहेंगे और जनता की आवाज को हम दबने नहीं देंगे और विपक्ष किसी भी तरीके से दबाव में आने वाला नहीं है वी नीड टू एक्सपोज दिस गवर्नमेंट स्ट्रेटेजी of trying to silence the opposition, especially because the opposition, in particular Congress party, has been raising the issues of price rise, unemployment, Agnipath, GST, issues that put this government in the dock. They make this, this government very uncomfortable. Therefore, they are trying to silence us, but they are sadly mistaken. They cannot silence us. We will continue with our Satyagraha. We will continue to raise these issues. Where is the FIR? The case which was closed, why has it been reopened? Why are they summoning them without an FIR? When the company is a Section 25 company, it's a not-for-profit company, where is the money laundering? Not one penny has been transferred into anybody's account. Where is the money laundering? Why does the ED get involved? Therefore, it is political vendetta. This is clear harassment. Our leader, Sonia Gandhiji, is a tigress. It's very clear from the fact this clearly speaks volumes of what the BJP is trying to do, how it harasses those, the, especially the opposition, who tries to expose what is right in the interest of the nation. All right, let's take a much deeper look now at what took place yesterday. On one side, you had, as you saw, Sonia Gandhi reaching the ED office at a little past noon. The ED then probed Sonia Gandhi for six hours over two rounds. She did take a brief break in between. Remember, Gandhi is still suffering, according to multi reports, from symptoms related to COVID. She had taken time to recover. She'd been summoned two times before. Now the ED is allowing Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, her daughter, to actually attend the questioning with her to give her medicines. 35 questions were asked to Sonia when she was present at the ED questioning on the AJL Young Indian Deal. Remember, this entire case is a case that stretches more than 10 years back when you had the BJP leader Subramaniam Swami first file a complaint. The case has been going on since. The investigation has been going on since. But you've had senior Congress leaders raise the point that there is no FIR in this case. So how is the ED conducting this investigation? Anyway, yesterday she was questioned as we already said, for six hours. The day before that, she was questioned for two hours on day one. So remember, today when she goes in, it will be her third round of questioning. Day one had 20 questions related to money laundering. 
that did take place. Now, you might remember when her son had attended, there had been multiple reports saying that Rahul Gandhi was spending a lot of time looking at the answers. Because you must remember these answers will later be submitted to court, which is why often during the interrogation, you have these Congress leaders taking a very careful look at what they're writing down. Now, there were questions, as you can see, and this is a big question mark, this part, that there are multiple questions on what the role of other Congress leaders are in this entire case. When Rahul Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi's son, was questioned, he'd said he wasn't too aware of the financial handling and the financial transactions. Other Congress leaders had been handling that. That's perhaps why these questions were also asked to Sonia Gandhi. Now, yesterday, our managing editor, Zakar Jacob, spoke to an entire panel of people on this entire story, on Sonia Gandhi's questioning. Take a look at what the panel had to say. Zaka, to my understanding, this complaint against the National Herald also started with a private complaint. I'm sure uh, that every fourth leader in Congress is a lawyer. They have a battery of lawyers in the party. They can go against and file a complaint against these uh, people and follow in the courts of law. I think that, that doesn't, is not an argument that because the five people are corrupt or seems to be corrupt, you can't probe, you can't uh, do the investigation against the Rahul Gandhi or against the Sonia Gandhi. What kind of argument is that? In fact, just, just two days back, uh, Adi Randan Chaudhary liked ED, liked CBI and say and written a letter to Mamta Banerjee that they should remove Partha uh, Chatterjee from the party. So I think their ED, CBI becomes fine. But when they interrogate Rahul, the Rahul Gandhi and the Sonia Gandhi and other legal luminaries very brightly explained the case, they are not even part of the, 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 the complying with the investigation in the street. They know you can't even, you can do all the hodgepodge, you can do multiple companies, you can give loan in 50 lakh, you can write off a 90 crore rupee loan. To, and, and Supriya Sinerji said, no, no, it's not a 2,000 crore rupees crime they have done. They have done a 359 crore rupees crime. Okay, that's fine. But you can't probe them. I think that's the problem we have. Okay. Uh, Hemant Atri, uh, j just to take this forward, I think one of the points that uh, I, I want to take this forward, uh, one of the points that uh, the lawyer made, Mr. Sankla made, is that there was an obvious conflict of interest, taking the point that he made further, there was an obvious conflict of interest when you have 76% of a not-for-profit Section 25 company owned by Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi and the remaining 24-25% owned by two other loyalists who are no, not there uh, with us anymore. In the case of Mr. Vora, who used to be the long-time treasurer of the party, he was involved in all three entities. He was part of AJL, he was a, a shareholder and a director at Young India, and of course, he was a treasurer of the AICC, which had lent 90 crores to AJL. I mean, in, in the private sector, this would be called conflict of interest, a textbook case of conflict of interest. Zaka, I hope I have listened to everybody for a good 22, 22 minutes. I hope that you'll give me at least two minutes uninterrupted. Mm -hmm. See, whether the thing is, what is happening around? If it is such a serious case, as my esteemed liar friend was saying, why Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi scored for it? It was investigated, it sta investigation started in 2014. It is eight years hence, on 31st of July, eight years will be completed. Why are they scot free till date in a zero tolerance government like Modi at the top, at the helm of the affairs? Point number one. Point number two, the kind of discussion that is happening around, something very disturbing. All these political parties, Jaka, they are political opponents. They are not enemies. If there is some investigation going on, Every investiga investigating agency has a right to get into the depths of the thing, details of the thing. My point is something else. Say about a year back or so, they investigated and interrogated Mr. Robert Wadra also. Can you please tell me where is that case now? Has he been arrested or proven guilty? What is ED doing in last since 50, 1955 till date? What is their conviction rate? That it is not the issue. See, we are a mature democracy. We are the largest democracy of the world. The kind of things that are happening on the roads, we are not a banana republic. Today, all those MPs who were protesting, everybody has a right to protest peacefully. Were they making any meanings on that? They were not allowed to go to Raj Ghat also. You please arrest everybody who is there. No problems. But there is a certain decorum and way of handling things and people. The way AYCC president was, you know, they held him from the hair. Is it a, you know... Something is a civilized society that allows. My point is something very different, Zaka. These things should be investigated and investigated properly with not a lot of political noise.
Okay. See, this is this is that guy a white collar crime. It's not a like three zero two case, three hundred two murder case, wherein you have to you know recover many things. It's a black and white on paper crime. If at all it has happened, see. So you, in, unless and until you get, get, want to get into the depth of it, and you were not able to make into eight years mm. by today, Zaka, these questions will arise, my dear brother. Okay. Now the thing is, how Congress takes it? Now the problem comes in a very different way. If they make a hue and cry, you and me ask why they are doing it. If they don't come out on the road, we ask why they are coming on the roads. My point is something very different. In a democratic setup, there are two parts. One is ruling, and other one is opposition. Yeah. Now, if at all the Congress party is coming on the roads, maybe on a wrong pretext. Let me suffice that they are coming on a wrong pretext. For the okay. very simple reason, there are n number of issues which are relating to the masses at large in this country. Maybe unemployment, maybe hmm. n number of things. Hmm. Why they are not protesting on that? Why on this? Okay. So, uh, Shantanu wanted to make a quick rebuttal, then I'll go to Supriya. Yeah. Oh, all right, Chandra, quickly, please. Zaka, Zaka, Zaka my, my, my limited point is, I think he's saying police should be more humane. I think we all agree police in India, from West Bengal to Rajasthan, from Chhattisgarh to Kerala, should be more humane. But that, 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 that does not absolve that Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi should, uh, should, should... Uh, not be called for question. Okay. Co -co Why don't you arrest them? Okay. Why don't you arrest No, no, no. Uh, arrest happens uh, if in the course of an investigation they find a person not, not to be cooperating, then yes, then, then arrest happens. But anyway, Supriya, please uh, respond to the points that Kapil made. Uh, number one, what was a political party doing uh, lending loans to a, a company? Number two, uh, this I whole conflict that. of interest. I heard that. Okay. Go ahead. I heard it. Hmm. The lawyer on this show here said AJL owned by Gandhis or some people close to him. Absolutely a damn lie. The Gandhis have nothing to do with AJL whatsoever. And our next top story for the day, the Enforcement Directorate, once again, has widened its probe in the West Bengal School Service Commission teacher recruitment scam. You might remember that West Bengal Minister Partha Chatterjee just a few days ago, he was, remember, State Education Minister in 2016 at the time of this entire case. He's been remanded a few days ago by the Enforcement Directorate along with his aide, Arpita Mukherjee. Now we're learning that more TMC leaders are under the ED radar as one TMC MLA, Manik Bhattacharji, has been asked already to appear before the agency. Now, Bhattacharya's name emerged after the ED was following the money trail after Partha Chatterjee's grilling. Pa Bhattacharya is currently the West Bengal Education Board President. He's been quizzed by the CBI as well in this very same case. Remember, Mamta Banerjee also made her first statement about it yesterday. All right, we're going to move on now to one update that's particularly important. It's going to be coming in later in the day today. The Supreme Court's going to be delivering their judgment on cases challenging the Prevention of Money Laundering Act today. More than 100 petitions on various aspects of the PMLA, as it's called. They've been grouped together. They were heard by the bench. The judgment will address all of these issues. Uh, part of these issues concern investigative powers, witness summaring, ED arrests and seizures, and the bail process under the PMLA. We'll be talking to a reporter and taking a much deeper look at this story, what the aspects that were flagged by common citizens were. Justice Khanvilkar, he is presiding over the entire bench. He's already heard the petitions. He is also set to retire, importantly, on July 29th. Now, for now, it's time for a short break. On the other side of the break, we continue to take a look at all of the country's top stories. We will see you in just a second.